Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm making this video uh, to quickly go through all the requirements and discussions for personalized newsfeed ML system design problem. You can use this video maybe uh, before a day before interview or just to quickly go through uh, all the high level important requirement and discussions you, you should do for this particular question. So let's start uh, without wasting your time. Uh, first things first, so we uh, ask a clarifying questions to the interviewer. Uh, so first thing, uh, what's the business problem we are uh, trying to uh, track here, right? So we can say uh, we would like to uh, improve the engagement for the users. And if, if that increases, then we can show multiple ads in between and users, uh, uh, we can retain the users. Uh, then second thing, uh, what kind of data or feed we have? Uh, it can be combination of text, image, and video. What's the language of, of the text? Uh, it can be anything, but for this problem, we may uh, uh, track English as a language. Then uh, what should we show in the feed? Uh, so first, like unseen post plus post with unseen comments, right? Uh, that would be helpful uh, to increase the uh, engagement. Then how do we compute uh, this personalized news feed? Uh, either it's a real time or batch processing. And then we can ask how many times uh, this feed gets updated. So twice per day, let's say. Then how many daily active users uh, do we have for this particular uh, uh, app? So let's say we have 5 billion users. We can also ask about like how many post uh, data do we have? Uh, so overall, it looks like we have to retry the post and then rank it based on the personal experience. We have to map a uh, business problem with the ML uh, problem. So uh, we have to figure out like what are the ML objectives we have. So as of now, we can see we have three objectives. Either we maximize number of explicit reactions or implicit reactions, or we can combine both of them and then we give the, uh, we consider some kind of weighted score. So for example, here you can uh, uh, understand like we have click, like, comment, share, friend request, hide, and block, right? Uh, these are the, our, we can consider them as a reaction. And then for each one, we have given some weight, is right? Like for click, we have given one weight, for like, we have three and so on, right? So eventually, once we get the probability of each, uh, then we multiply with the weight, and then we get the single score. And then based on that score, uh, we can rank them uh, uh, in post one, post two, post three for that particular user in personalized manner, right? So, uh, yeah, we have the, now three choices, uh, and uh, we have to pick uh, which one uh, should be better for problem statement. Next thing would be to ask what is the data available or what kind of data we can collect, right? So, uh, at high level, uh, we should discuss first what kind of data uh, we might be looking for. So first is we might looking for user related data, then post, uh, user post interactions, and then something like friendship, right? So now for users, we can track user ID name, such kind of demographic uh, data. Then for post, uh, there could be multiple attributes to post, like uh, what is the post ID, the, um, what are the mentions in the post, what are the texts, right? Uh, the image, if it is having any path to that, on uh, when the image uh, or both, uh, sorry, uh, the particular post created, right, the, the timestamp. Then we may would like to also uh, consider the user post interaction, so user ID and then post ID here. Uh, what kind of interactions happen? Then uh, what's what was the location? What is the interaction value? It may be dwell time, for example. It may be. Uh, and nothing as well in case of like just click right so uh, and then uh, what was the timestamp right of that uh, interaction for example then uh, what is the relation between user to user so user to uh, user whether like uh, since when they are friends if they are friends then uh, whether they are family member true or false then that kind of uh, uh, data we can collect right for this problem uh, once we uh, get the idea about the data, our next step would be to discuss uh, feature engineering, right? So uh, at high level, we can discuss the three uh, uh, different features, uh, post features, user features, and user author affinities. So uh, yeah, as I said, for user, let's start, uh, it would be demographic data and then contextual information, right? Like what kind of de device uh, he or she is using, then time of the day and so on. And then maybe user post historical instruction, like user one clicked on post one, whether it was clicked, it was liked and, and so on. 
right and then uh, user author affinity so here basically uh, uh, author is uh, someone who has posted uh, the particular post so what's the rate of like share comment between user and author uh, for uh, the past uh, in the past historical uh, data right and then how long they are uh, friends uh, and then let's come to post uh, features where we may have textual data in, in the post so we can again convert into uh, text embeddings uh, using let's say bird we may have image and videos we can convert in again in embedding using clip or resonate or something similar models then we track number of reactions like how many number of likes shares comments in that particular post we can create hashtag or we can use the hashtag and then uh, tokenize them and uh, save them like id versus token and we can also track the age of the post uh in in the binning manner so we can bin it in let's say five different buckets so first first bucket would be like less than one hour uh then uh between one to five hour and so on and then uh, yeah we, we can bucketize in different uh time uh buckets so once we uh, discuss like what what could uh, the feature engineering look like then uh, we can at least if you have an idea you can give a high level uh, pipeline uh, so that uh, yeah, interview understand like what what how we are planning to think right so here for example in this case we have four stage like one is retrieval then filter scoring plus ranking and then re-ranking right so retrieval means we will uh, uh, get all the post and then based on the user like user might have blocked that particular uh, i mean author for that post so, so we have to do those kind of filtering here and then uh, we have to do scoring plus ranking so we do we first i mean predict the probability uh, and then we based on those probability we might rank it or maybe we also do like uh, learning to rank kind of model uh, in that case uh, also we just do the ranking right uh, and the next step would be re-ranking where based on the recent or freshness of the post uh, or fairness of the post we might have to do some shuffling uh, so that th this is how the four stage look like right and here in retrieval we can uh, get the feature from feature store and then at the time of scoring we may add some few extra features uh, which are online features right uh, to, at the time of scoring and this is how like our prediction pipeline look like and at, and then uh, for data pipeline we may be continuously getting stream of data which might be interaction data and so on right and uh, we like some kind of feature we do the base processing and then we uh, do the online feature filtration as well so you have to discuss here like what kind of feature we should do the base processing what kind of feature we can use in, in the online processing so for this problem we have two kinds of model choices so first model choices independent uh, deep neural networks right so we first concat all the features and then for each task uh, right we have separate uh, dnn so for click there is one for click, like share comment and for all those uh, class we have different different uh, indi independent uh, classifiers right and then each one we will get the uh, results right so for example in this case click probability like probability share probability and so on and what uh, loss function will use so since all of them looks like a classification task so we can use cross entropy as a loss function for this particular uh, use case the second model uh, uh, architecture option we have is we uh, again have the concatenated features uh, and then we have shared layers and then uh, eventually we have uh, for each task we may have a single head right so for example for click classifier we may have separate head for like we may we may have separate head and so on right and obviously uh, for each each head we'll get the different probabilities as on here and uh, the uh, you have to talk about pros and cons between the previous approach and this approach so this approach will have a benefit of like uh, we don't need the separate data for each task we can use the uh, same data and uh, we can uh, use this so this will give us a better uh, opportunity uh, to predict the uh, different classes right and uh, we can also add something like dwell time head skip head and so on right so for example here this task are classification, cl classification tasks so we can use the cross entropy as a loss function 
but uh, here this is a number right the, which we are predicting so this can be a regression task and for this kind of task we can use mse uh, mean square error or mean absolute error uh, hubble loss those kind of uh, loss function uh, for this so we will use the individual loss function for each of the head and that's how we uh, can uh, go with this approach at the end of interview we can discuss uh, what are the offline evaluation metrics and online evaluation metrics so offline evaluation metrics is the one which we track when we are training the model right so we can track precision recall a roc uc score for better uh, understanding of the model so interviewer may again ask you in detail like how do you do this roc uc score and so on so you have to explain that and then in online evaluations we have uh, we can track the three different metrics one is click through rate uh reaction rate and the total time spent on that particular post right so this is like very high level very quick and fast uh, overview of uh, personalized news feed uh, ml system design problem you can go in this flow you can discuss all these uh, things and hopefully uh, i i like uh, i i think you uh, like this video uh, if you like to buy this notes to read if you prefer to read through this note please comment in the video so that i can give you the link uh, to buy this notes thank you for watching this video uh, thank you for watching this video uh, if you would like me to make more of this please comment uh, and let me know what kind of uh, problem you would like me to discuss next uh, so that you can quickly uh, review it uh, also uh, if you prefer to read uh, through these notes rather than watching video please let me know i'll i'll post it uh, on the link of the uh, particular notes where you can buy it or purchase it uh, it will help me to create more such contents and it, it will really support me once again thank you very much for watching this video